just received a lifetime 100 amp hour life profile battery this is a 24 volt um, in Australia so this is to replace these two King's batteries 120 amp hour uh, life profile batteries I've had these for about 18 months I'd say uh, they've been running fantastic I've just been using them in my boat to run the 80 pound motor guide um, the only reason I'm taking these out is because I had them wired in series for 24 volt running fine lots of power ridiculous amounts uh, but the problem is that when I have them in series eventually one will drop off and become unbalanced um, which is common when you run LiPo 4 in series so I'm here um, so to, instead of chasing my tail I decided just to get one battery uh, that's 24 volt um, and go from there. Now I wasn't really keen on spending you know $1300 or so um, for your bigger brand ones. Lightime, they don't really have much of a name here in Australia and that's kind of why I'm just doing a video. I don't really do videos. Um, the only reason I'm doing it is because they, you don't hear about them in Australia but they are big in the States. Uh, they seem to be very popular, very popular on YouTube. A lot of posts on YouTube though kind of give the impression they may be sponsored but there are a lot um, on there that are just genuine um, and it's they pull very good results so this is not really going to be a review video this is more just to show what it is um, I'm going to do a capacity test on it uh, hopefully this weekend I'll post the results of that in this video and then in six months time in the comments of this I'll just do another capacity test and then maybe 12 months I'll do another one uh, just to see how it's holding up it will get uh, a fair bit of use on this um, probably maybe once a week twice a week you know 20 knot winds 4 knot current it, it will be you know pushing it to its limit when it's being used other than that it'd be kind of going into a storage mode um, but we'll see what the results are when we do the capacity test so when this battery is under use be pulling maybe 60 amps occasionally and then under that um, in the boat so it's not going to have a hard life although you know I, I tend to go out in pretty rough conditions so it's going to be pretty bouncy so that's going to be a good test to see how well it's built inside um, I'm still really happy with these King's batteries I have four of them so I had these two in the boat and I have another two in separate cars running fridges 24-7 just on uh, 130 uh, watt panels and can't kill it. So yeah, I'm very happy the Kings. Kings do bring a lot of trash into this country, that's that's given. But their batteries, I think they're pretty smart. They know if they build good batteries, then people will be happy with the batteries and then they'll buy other maybe trash items, if you want to put it that way, in the store. That's just my opinion of it. Um, but yeah, if you, if you are looking for just a, you know, a single 120 amp hour battery, I would still definitely recommend the Kings. Um, but I'll open this up, have a look what it, what it looks like inside and go from there. Uh, so I paid uh, about 720 for this on eBay. So on their eBay store they usually have a bit of a discount. I think their eBay store is kind of new so they're trying to sell a lot through their eBay to get a presence. Um, so I'm quite happy with that. Uh, 720 bucks. I think I bought it Monday afternoon. It's now Wednesday so pretty quick. Uh, left their warehouse yesterday, so here next day, I guess. Um, in the box, got uh, this little nice satchel with manuals and all that business in it. Um, obviously, your bolts are here, but they've got the arrow the wrong way, but anyway. Obviously, a lot of people have been throwing these away in the States, and they've got angry at it, and they've put this little message there. Definitely package well. I strongly suggest if you get a battery like this, don't throw all the packaging away because if you do have an issue with a battery, God forbid, you have something to ship it back with that's secure. Um, it just makes life so much easier. Um, I'll pull it out. I'll put it on the bench. Or I'll just measure it up and then we'll have a look. Okay, here's the battery pulled out of the box. I do like it how they have some of the stats written on top rather than on the side so that when it's in a battery box and you open it up you can just see some of the details uh, they have an app for this one so it's bluetooth uh, you can see quite a lot in the app too it doesn't seem too bad although i will be using a uh, victron shunt to monitor it um, i think it's just a little bit more accurate 
This is what's in the satchel. So you have just a little booklet here, which I think has more of about their company and their uh, other products and things like that. It's actually very well written for a company coming straight out of China. They're obviously paying uh, someone pretty well to you know, put this in English. You know, when you get a manual from China, it's a nightmare to read. This is actually pretty good. Um, you've got stickers here if you're a sticker person. Uh, I'm personally not, but yeah, it's something. Um, this is just a quick start guide. Um, you can put the date you receive it because you get five years warranty on this unit. So if you put that there, then you know exactly when it arrived, which I'll have to make sure I do because I'll forget. Uh, this is a product manager. I had a quick look at this and this is actually really good. There is so much information here. I haven't verified any of it. Um, but what they have in here is really great for someone that doesn't understand lithium um, or batteries in general. Uh, so you've got the dimensions and things like that. Just how to use the app. Um, how not to kill yourself or others, basically, or the battery. Uh, the contents page. Uh, some data here. And then, so this is really, I really like this information. So just before you use it, how to store it. Um, other charging methods for solar panels. Um, estimating the capacity different type of charges, things like that. Um, and then even recommending cable sizes and how to connect it in series and parallel. Um, and then, yeah, it just goes on. That's really well written. Um, so that's actually fantastic. Uh, so I think that's a, that'll be really good for the Australian market to get something like that when you get a battery, because it is a bit you know hard to figure out what you're doing if you don't know what you're doing. If you really don't know what you're doing, pay someone. Um, but yeah, if you're just starting out, you want to put one of these in your caravan or something like that, then that's a great manual to follow. Okay, I've got it on charge now. I've been playing around with the app. It was very easy to set up. Uh, the app is, you know, well built. It's not like your other Chinese cheap apps that are really a struggle to use. It's, it's very well uh, put together. A lot of data in there. You can turn the battery on and off. You can see the capacity, things like that. You can see it's under charge right now. Um, I still would recommend a shunt of some description, Victron or something like that. Uh, but this is still, a, if you don't want to spend that money, or even though they're really cheap, this is still a, you know, will get you by. I'm charging it just with the Victron 13 amp 24 volt charger. I don't have a 20 amp charger. They recommend a 20 amp charger, but uh, I don't see the problem with using what I've got. But I guess time will tell. Um, so we'll just get it charged up. I'll do a capacity test on it. We'll see what that comes out at. Um, and then we'll put it in the boat and I'll give it six months and then I'll do another capacity test on it at that point. Got a kick-ass battery tray for the battery. It's the 200 amp hour one. Um, if you need a battery tray or battery box for this battery or any of the 24 volt ones, um, I would say you need a 200 amp hour tray. It's the only one I could find pretty heavy duty it's a very tight fit um, but yeah it will do well so I just finished the test on the battery uh, took 19 hours pulled a hundred amp hours um, which is not too bad I thought it might get a little bit more but it's advertised at 100 and I got a hundred one thing I really struggled with is the um, full charge voltage is 28 volts, except I could not get this above 26.6. So I have a feeling it was uh, pretty unbalanced. So I'm going to give it a really slow charge now this is done. Uh, just to see if I can balance it out a little bit better. But it is doing as advertised. It's pulling what, you know, what I expected. Um, so in all in all, pretty good. I'll do a uh, capacity test on the King's batteries as well and I'll put that into the comments of this video if you're curious. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with how much I paid for it and what it's done so far. The app is great. I can be on the other side of the house and still um, connect to the battery. So that's fantastic. With my Victron shunt, I pretty much got to be on top of it for it to work. So it's kind of annoying. But at least with this, you know, I can be on the other, other side of the house. I can see what it is. So I know if I need to give it a charge or not. Um, I'll throw this into the boat and I'll give it a good use. And then six months I'll do another capacity test just out of curiosity. I'll put that in this uh, comments of this video as well. And then maybe a year I'll do another one.